The ball below your feet lie is arguably the most difficult of all the sloping lies on the golf course. Because it screws with your posture position. It affects your directional control. And it's very difficult to make a powerful body movement in both directions with this awkward posture position. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to master this nasty lit little monster of a golf shot. I'm Andrew Cullen, and this is Cough Yourself to Life. So let's deal with the full swing first, and then later in the video, we'll show you how we need to adapt the short game. Geometry first, we've got to get the posture in a position where we're still able to strike the ball. Obviously, if I don't change anything, I'm never going to come down to the height of the ball. So I need to get myself down to the ball. And the way to do it is to try and get your lower half sitting back and down and not alter your upper half too much. So I can still make a powerful movement as much as I can with the upper body. I won't be able to make it much of a hip turn in both directions with the lower body, but at least I can do something upstairs. If I only go with the upper body down, it's very difficult to make a turning motion and I'm liable to get very steep in my approach into the ball. So posture first, we got to sit back to help your balance. We got to sit down to get to the height of the ball. And then we have a chance of striking the ball pure. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, pure. <clears throat> Nice. Okay, physics next. Because I'm slightly closer to the ball and my hands are in a higher position than a normal posture, I'm changing the lie of the club to slightly more flat. flat. So we're going from the normal lie, straight flight, hopefully, when everything else in the swing is correct, to a slightly more flat, flat lie, which changes the spin axis and will tend to get a little bit of right spin on the ball. Again, upright lie will tend to, to hit it left. Standard, straight, flat, a little bit right. So we have to account for that in your alignment. We have to take the physics into account. And normally we would say, we're gonna look at the biomechanics first. Normally we'd say, right, let's aim a little bit left to compensate for the tendency to have right spin bias on the ball. And that are the biomechanics. This is the most problematic part of this swing because I'm in this lower posture position. It's much more difficult to make a rotation of the body in both directions. The lower half is not going to come much with me. I can turn to about there and still control my posture. If I try and go further, I'm just going to stand out of my posture, making it even more difficult to get a strike on the ball. So I'm restricted. Back swing and downswing and because it's restricted to very much upper body and arms the tendency is to pull the ball off to the left hand side for the right hand golfer so although we've got tendency right spin bias with the physics of the exercise we've got tendency left pull because of the restriction in the lower half body turn so the trick really here is make some practice swings find out where the low point of the swing is and make sure the ball's opposite that point because if we go slightly further left of that point for the right hand golfer we're definitely going to pull the ball over to the left all right so it depends on the severity of the slope what you can do for a turn but make a few practice swings Notice where you hit the ground. It's probably going to be further back than normal because we can't get the lower half moving as well. So I compensate for that. I pop the ball back in the stance. I aim slightly left for the spin bias. And I do what I can as far as the turning motion is concerned with this restricted biomechanics. And that one's just gone straight and a very little bit of right spin bias just towards the end. But you just do what you can. Find out where the low point is in your practice swing beforehand. If you're enjoying watching and learning how to play horrendously difficult golf shots around the golf course, then remember to hit the subscribe and like button. Oh, gotta like that. Come on. Okay, so let's apply what we know to the short game. Awkward little shot here. Ball's well below my feet. Priority number one, geometry. We're not really too worried about the physics. It's difficult to put a lot of side spin on the ball from this short shot. I'm anyway only gonna use my upper body to make this move for this short approach shot. So the restriction is not too 
uh, much of a theme, but I have to get down to the ball and stay down. Often the mistake with this shot is just coming out of it a little early, topping the ball in the bunker or even in the water over the other side. Right, I've short-sighted myself here as well. We're going to need to bounce it in the fringe to try and get the brakes on, but it's get down, stay down is really the trick here. All right, here we go. Try and land it in the fringe, get the geometry right. So I'm sitting back, sitting down, should be good. Land it in the front. Oh, beautiful braking stop. They'll do it. Ooh, nearly. All right. Get down. Stay down for beautiful short game strikes.